Welcome collaboration sellers and fans. Today we are going to explore the new Cisco WebEx calling platform broken down over a three-part series. This video kicks off the series with an overview and discussion on supported endpoints for WebEx calling. The remaining portions will focus on demoing the solution with part two on the WebEx calling app and part three on the management interface. A few key items defined in this video are as follows. What is WebEx calling? What are the supported endpoints and required infrastructure? And where can you purchase this offer? So what is WebEx calling powered by BroadCloud? You might recognize BroadCloud as the platform developed by BroadSoft, the market leader in cloud calling. Yes, this is the same BroadCloud that I am referring to. It is now part of Cisco and the backbone of WebEx calling. We have combined this technology with the power of Cisco's WebEx portfolio to create a solution with robust calling capabilities, easy management through Cisco's Control Hub interface, and completes the story of the ultimate collaboration cloud experience. For those unfamiliar with BroadCloud, it is BroadSoft's proven cloud-based PBX platform designed for small, mid-market, and enterprise-level businesses. Oh, and it supports more end users than any other cloud PBX in the world. WebEx Calling is now based on this platform and is generally available on a global scale today. The offer is sold through a channel of service providers and Cisco partners. For the sake of this series, I will focus on the offer currently available for VARs certified to sell WebEx Calling. Moving to endpoints, WebEx Calling supports the latest Cisco cloud-enabled MPP devices. This includes Cisco's 6800, 7800, and 8800 series phones, as well as key expansion modules and headsets. If analog devices such as fax machines are required, ATA190 series adapters are also supported. For conferencing needs, the Cisco 7832 conference phone is compatible with this solution. Point-to-point -point video is supported on the 8845 and 8865 endpoints, as well as on the desktop and mobile client applications covered later in part two of the series. As I mentioned, the devices must be running Cisco MPP firmware. If you currently have Cisco cloud-capable phones running enterprise firmware, such as those that can register to call manager, there is a migration path available to convert to MPP. Flex includes one license per user to migrate one time each way. So you can go from enterprise to MPP and back from MPP to enterprise one time. There is no firmware migration needed for key expansion modules. I mentioned Flex previously, this is just Cisco's simplified method for consuming collaboration licenses, where all user licenses live in one place. There are options for calling, meetings, and now there is a bundle available for both calling and meetings. WebEx Teams is included in all offers. Let's move on and discuss options for connecting to the PSTN. The PSTN is the medium for connecting calls outside of the PBX. We can connect to it using a variety of methods. Service providers with this offer include their individual PSTN service in a bundle with WebEx Calling. For this series, we are focusing on the VARs which currently need to configure a local gateway to connect to the PSTN. Bring your own SIP trunk and preferred media partner or roadmap at this time. Focusing on local gateway, here are the options currently supported with WebEx Calling sold through the VARs. We can use Cube for IP-based connectivity and iOS Gateway for TDM-based. Hardware support includes the familiar line of ISR 4K routers, like the 4321, the virtualized CSR1000V, and the ISR1100. Cube calling licenses are included in the Flex plan. The key benefit for using local gateway is that the customers provided the flexibility to choose their preferred local method of receiving dial tone. The listed gateways have a variety of supported NIM cards used for SIP, PRI, and POT services. Here is the list of the 20 current EPE partners in the U.S. certified to sell WebEx calling. EPE was our early partner engagement that started with these first 20 partners, and the number of certified partners ready to transact WebEx calling will continue to grow as many are currently working to complete the required courses. You can find the list of partners ready to transact WebEx calling using the Collaboration Cloud Partner Locator tool. You can also view the partner status on Sales Connect. For more information on FlexPlan, you can visit cs.co slash FlexPlan. You can also learn more about calling at cs.co slash calling. And check out our blog post on calling and WebEx Teams, written by Cisco's Scott Hoffbauer. 
Thank you for joining this session on WebEx Calling. Just to recap, we discussed what is WebEx Calling, what are the supported endpoints and infrastructure, and who can transact this offer. I believe that wraps up part one of our series. Stay tuned for part two, a look at the WebEx Calling app. Thank you.